What is going on guys? Yo soy Nick here and welcome back to another create above and beyond tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you how to create an automatic andesite cobblestone whatever farm. All this stuff is needed early game in the create above and beyond mod pack. So I want to show you how to do this. Now this is not like your normal cobble generator because you need to use bedrock in order to get andesite which is used a lot and in create especially in creating the alloys and stuff. So let's dive right into it. I want to show you guys how to get this done. Perfect. All right. So this chest over here is going to be the rough amount of materials that we're going to have to use. Get some gearboxes, some trap doors, cog wheels could be nice or shafts, whatever is going to work for you. Mechanical drills is a must have water and lava to um, get the cobblestone generated. I used a hopper for the collection system, a chest, a piston, because we're going to be making a piston on a clock. And this right here is the materials used for the clock. Let's go ahead and grab all this stuff and let's get started. All right. So. First off, we're going to go here and we're going to figure out where we're going to make our generator. So if you want to go into the andesite, so this stuff is the idea is you need andesite to make the alloys and stuff. Um, these andesite alloys, which is a huge component in early game uh, mod pack. So let's figure out how to create those. And in order to create those, it tells you in the mod pack that you need to have bedrock and pretty much like a cobblestone generator, but the bottom of the block has to be bedrock to make the andesite. And it also gives you uh, diorite and stuff, but the main thing we're looking for is the andesite. So let's dive into that. So let's, uh, you have to go down to Y level five or wherever you can find some bedrock, four or five, whatever. I like to do five because as soon as you start going into four, you start uh, losing a lot of space. So let's dive in and let's get this, um, get this going. I want to make my generation happen right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a stair. Okay. Now the reason to grab a stair is because I want to waterlog a stair. So I have water that doesn't go very far and it just kind of holds it better. Okay. But I also want some trap doors. That way I don't um, lose my water. So I'll just replace that for now. Boom. Boom. Perfect. Okay, so water is going to be right there. Okay, going to have to turn that around like that. Okay, so that's going to be a water lock stair. So this place right here is where it's going to be generated. So I'm going to go here. And the reason why we're using a piston is because we're going to generate the andesite and we're going to push it to be mined by a drill. So I want you to put a piston right about there. Okay. And then I want you to create a clock behind it. Okay. So the way I created a clock was just like, so I want you to grab, put a, put a block right there. You can put a lever on top, put a torch right there, but make sure it's one tick because you don't want it to go too fast because if it goes too fast, at least for me, it, um, it shuts off pretty easily. So. Um, so go there, boom, 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 and then attach it there. So now we have um, this pushing, okay? So now let's go above, and I want to put a trap door there. Oops. There. 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 And there. So this is going to be holding our lava, okay? I got to get used to using this inventory. This is going to hold our lava. Okay, shift, right click. Perfect. Now it's going to be generating. Oh, I got to turn the stair around. Yep. Perfect. See, it doesn't have to be a stair, but now it's going to be generating granite and decide all that good stuff. Okay. So this is what we're um, definitely going to be needing. So now that we have the clock over here and now that we have this being generated, let's figure out a way how to mine it. The reason why I put a lever up here is because you can turn it off. So now it has an on and off switch. Perfect. Okay. But yeah. Like I said, you don't need to stay there. So, um, also, this is just a water wheel back here. Okay, so that's what I'm using as my power. Bada bing, uh, bada boom. Perfect. So let's go into and let's get our mechanical drill. Now, I want my mechanical drill to drill right about over here. Okay, give or take. Doesn't really matter where you do it as long as you have like a good system set up for it. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to grab a gearbox. Gearbox. So just a normal horizontal gearbox i'm gonna place it down right there so now we can go here here and then i'll grab another gearbox i'm gonna place it right back there 
So now we have this mechanical drill being powered. Now the cool thing about this setup is you can expand it by adding a gearbox and adding another drill, okay? Adding a gearbox, adding another drill, and now you can mine three at a time. Okay, but we're just gonna stick with one just so I can show you guys the basics. All right, so now that we have that going, we're going to go ahead and give it a start. And then as you can see, it'll start pushing over here and it'll start mining. And that's pretty much it right there. And the cool thing about it is now we can make a collection system. See, it's mining. So one thing I want you guys to uh, pay attention to is that it won't mine unless it stops against the wall. So what you can do is you can just place a wall right there. Right there. That way it's kind of blocked. So it'll, it'll stop mining right there. Boom. All right. Now let's figure out a collection system. So the collection system that I went with is using a chest and a hopper. Going back to normal Minecraft there. <laughs> I'm liking it. So we're just going to go here. All right. I put my chest right there. I'm going to grab a hopper. Bada bing, bada boom. And we're going to put a hopper. Shift right click right there. Perfect. So now if anything gets destroyed, it'll be collected by the hopper. And now you can just put it in your chest and then you can extract from there. So this sh thing should be working now. So let's go ahead and give it a try. You can turn it on. It's going to start generating. And it's going to start pushing all the stuff that is being created by this generator. Like the andesite especially. Now, there's a ways to filter this and everything like that. But it's hard to filter things out early game. And this is what these tutorials are for now. Is filtering. Um, not you, you can't filter out. So um, because it's so early game, especially when you're playing survival. I want to give you guys something that you can just start off with. Okay? Because early game, it's, it's hard to filter out everything. But as you can see, everything's going into the chest here. And then from there, you can start pulling out. And then you can um, bring it back up to the surface. I'm going to show you guys a video on how to do an elevator. Bring it back up to the surface and everything like that. But that right there, guys, is how to create an andesite gabbro diorite generator. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Make sure to leave a like and comment down below what other tutorials you want to see in the next time. Peace.